let us now check design of silos here while calculating the pressure we have two theories one is jansen theory and one is aries theory so see here i am not going to give derivation here but of course the formula only i am will be giving you this formula you have to use in the design but what are the assumptions you have to know this see here first point a jansen theory it is assumed that the larger portion of the material of the weight is supported by friction between the material and wall and only a small portion of weight is transferred to the hopper bottom so initially we have seen while designing the bunkers it is said that the entire weight of the material inside the bunker will be imposed on hopper but here what is the assumption here the large portion of the material uh, weight is supported by friction only but only the small amount will be transferred to the hopper bottom that is the first assumption very important and you right now due to this the rankin's theory or coulomb's lateral pressure directly is not cannot be applied the vertical walls of silo are subjected to direct compression as well as lateral pressure see all the the vertical walls are subjected to the direct compression as well as the lateral pressure these are the two forces which are being acted on vertical walls see a horizontal pressure formula is this ph is gamma r by mu dash into 1 minus exponential of minus mu dash n h by r here gamma is the density of the material r is the hydraulic mean radius that is the diameter of the silo by 4 or radius half of the radius of the silo mu dash is the tan phi tan phi dash here this is the friction coefficient n is a ratio of p uh, ph by pv we don't know pv i will give you the value of pv otherwise n can also be written as 1 minus sin phi by 1 plus sin phi phi is here angle of repose phi dash is way, uh, different phi dash is different phi is different i will tell you slowly um, further h is the height of the cylindrical portion so these are the parameters you have to use while uh, calculating the pressure in jansen theory then vertical pressure intensity is indicated by pv and this is given by the following expression this pv is equal to gamma r by 2 mu dash n into 1 minus exponential minus 2 mu dash nh by r here mu dash is the coefficient of friction gamma is the density of the material n is a 1 minus sin phi by 1 plus sin phi phi is the angle of repose r is the radius of the cylindrical wall d by 2 r capital r is a hydraulic mean radius that is given by radius of silo by 2 or uh, diameter of the silo by 4 that is about jansen theory this is enough this is enough uh, first you have to write the formula and explain the parameters that's it and main important thing you have to write this assumptions you have to remember these assumptions aries theory in aries theory it is based on the coulomb's wedge theory of earth pressure by this theory it is possible to calculate the horizontal pressure per unit length of the periphery and the uh, portion of the base of uh, plane of the rupture i will tell you what is the plane of rupture and what is this i will tell you here this theory in this theory it is possible to calculate the horizontal pressure per unit length of the periphery and the portion of the plane of rupture per unit length length is nothing but the circumference periphery see here the results obtained from this theory is also fairly agree with the experimental results although the basis of theory is different from that of jansen theory it is uh, the this is experimental analysis say that it is very relevant compared to jansen theory because jansen theory says uh, the the total maximum of the load is uh, bared by the friction will be stopped by the friction and only the minimum load is transferred to the hopper that is many times is not acceptable for different different types of materials in such cases we go for aries theory where we get relevant values see here knowing the horizontal pressure vertical pressure and also the vertical load taken by the wall can be evaluated so horizon if you know the horizontal and vertical pressures vertical load taken by wall all can be evaluated with the aries theory depending upon the plane of rupture two cases are considered plane of rupture see here this is also useful for shallow bins that is bunkers also useful for deep bins that is silos 
case one is shallow bins plane of rupture cuts the top horizontal surface like this plane of rupture this is a plane of rupture cuts the horizontal uh, top horizontal surface this is a shallow bin bunker second one is case two deep bin plane of rupture cuts the here it is not there i will tell you orally see here case two is deep bin deep bin uh, in the plane the plane of rupture cuts the opposite opposite side like this this is the plane of rupture this is the deep bin see here this is cutting top surface this is cutting the opposite surface that is the change shallow bin plane of rupture cuts the top horizontal um, uh, surface let us see the first case shallow bin this is the formula ph is gamma h square by 2 into 1 minus 1 by uh, 1 minus root over 1 plus mu square plus root over mu into mu plus mu dash whole square yeah mu dash is tan phi phi dash is the angle of friction of filling on the walls of the bin phi is the angle of repose of the filling both are different both will be given in the problem gamma is the density of the material h is the height of the cylindrical portion mu is the coefficient of friction these are all the parameters here the vertical load is given by mu dash of horizontal pressure that is mu dash ph in case 2 is deep bin the plane of rupture cuts the opposite side here like this plane of rupture is cutting opposite side then the formula is ph is equal, uh, is equal to gamma b gamma into b by mu plus mu dash into 1 minus root over 1 plus mu square upon root over 2 h by b into mu plus mu, da, mu dash plus 1 minus mu mu dash where gamma is the density of the material b is the b, uh, width of the silo diameter of the silo if it is a rectangular or square it is a width if it is a diameter it is circular see here for rectangle it is the length of the silo mu is the coefficient of friction between the filling material related to angle of repose mu dash is tan phi phi is a angle of friction of filling on the walls of the bin phi is a angle of repose of the filling h is the height of the cylindrical wall all the parameters are known while doing the problem we'll check that pv is mu dash into ph that is mu dash times horizontal pressure intensity that is about the jansen and aries theories we have to use these formulas in uh, in the problem so i am telling giving you only the problems not the derivation here derivation is for you, uh, for the time being the derivation is not important for you okay that's all